Hello everyone, welcome. It's all about carry trading today. And we're gonna see some strategies that you can follow if uh, it's, uh, carry trade is something that interests you. So, 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 before, uh, let me double check the screen a bit because it's looking to be, oh, okay, perfect. We're good to go. As usual, before I uh, start the session, I would really, really appreciate the feedback regarding the audio and the screen as well, of course. And um, as I mentioned, today we're going to go through the uh, everything about carry trade, what it is, what is currency carry trade, uh, some examples regarding uh, when a carry trade occurs, uh, carry trade strategies, so I think I have included two. So we're going to see uh, everything today is okay. It's not a straightforward uh, topic, but I think um, I have simplified simplified enough, and you will be just fine. So, in the meantime, as I said, really appreciate a feedback. Uh, so, this material is, pro is provided as general marketing communication for information purposes only and does not constitute an independent investment, re investment research. Nothing in this communication contains or should be considered as containing an investment advice or an investment recommendation or a uh, uh, solicitation of the for the purpose of buying or selling of any financial instrument. All information provided is gathered from reputable sources, and any information containing an indication of past performance is not a guarantee or reliable indicator of future performance. Users acknowledge that any investment in leveraged products is characterized by a certain degree of uncertainty, and that any investment of this nature involves a high level of risk for which the users are so responsible and liable. We assume no liability for any loss arising from any investment made based on the information provided in this communication. This communication must not be uh, uh, must not be reproduced or further distributed without our prior written permission. Risk warning: Trading leveraged products such as forex and derivatives may not be suitable for all investors as they carry a high degree of risk to your capital. Please ensure that you fully understand the risk involved. Take into account your investment objectives and level of experience before trading, and if necessary, seek independent advice. You can find the, risk, uh, the, the, the full risk disclosure on our website, along with uh, any other legal documentation that you might want to uh, see. So, 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 let me just open five over five. Thank you, Rodero. Okay, we are good to go. As usual, this uh, session has been uh, recorded, so you can receive the recording in your inbox later on. Perfect. Webinars at hfm.com is our email address. Uh, the support team and also uh, myself and Michalis, we uh, reply in any questions, any query that you might have. It's of, if it's of course related to analysis, technical fundamental analysis, uh, strategy, etc. If it's uh, um, something regarding uh, withdrawals, deposits, etc., this is the support team, but they will help you, of course, as usual. So as I said, we're gonna uh, go through what is carry trade. How it works, and we're gonna go straight to a strategy along with some examples. Very good. Okay, so current trade and its strategy. So, <clears throat> what is current trade? Carry trade, guys, is the uh, is is the profit that someone basically the purpose of a carry trade is to profit from the uh, difference in interest rates between two uh, currencies. Okay, so just let me simplify uh, basically uh, this uh, term with uh, with an example. Imagine that, or actually, what I'm gonna do, 
going to share the word rates, the current uh, interest rates with you. Let me just. Come on. Give me a second. So these are the currents. Let me double check whether you can see this website. Yes, you can. Excellent. This is the, um, the global bank's interest rate. So you, we can see that uh, in Japan, we have a 0.25% interest rate. Uh, China, 335. Euro, 425. Uh, United Kingdom, 5%. United States, 5.5%. So that's, you can see that they have a gap between them. They have a significant difference, uh, some of them especially. Okay? So... Basically, what you need to understand about carry trade is that it's literally is the, the, the strategy, the investment that uh, a lot of people follow, especially the, the, the big investors, which is associated with this gap, with this difference between the interest rates offered from one from the deposit interest rate to be specific, from one country to the other, from one um, uh, major bank to the other. Okay, so what what actually is this? I'm gonna call it technique. Okay, I'm gonna call it a tactic. Actually, this is preferable. Carry trade is the is the tactic that uh, someone follows by borrowing money. From a uh, in, basically in a currency with low interest rates, and invest that money in another uh, country in another currency that offers higher interest rates. So let's take for example the dollar yen, right? It's a relationship that goes on forever. Right now, the United States have a 5.5% interest rate, right? Basically, I should actually be more specific and Google the deposit interest rates. Let me just... Globally. Let's find deposit. Here it is. Let me just share it again with you. Here we are. Perfect. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to try to focus on the big economies, on the major economies. Uh, so, US, US, US. Okay, I cannot find US right now, but let's take, for example, pound and UK. So, UK right now offers a 5% deposit interest rates okay the flip side however let's find the the weakest one um japan why not it's literally nearly zero nearly zero not point not three percent so it gives pretty much peanuts so what an investor that holds a lot of money should do basically in order to aim from this interest rate differential it borrows money, it takes a loan in yen from Japan, right? Which is, the interest rate is really, really low. And invest it to UK or any other country that ha provides high return, okay? In order with this way to profit, and not only that, not only to profit eventually, but also repay back its loan and uh have a profit as well so they basically this technique is the technique of a, a, an investor uh, implementing a currency by borrowing funds in a low interest rate uh, low interest rates uh, and using those funds to invest in an asset with high expected returns and eventually repay its loan and having a profit even after the repayment of the payment sorry of the uh, of the um, uh, 
um, of the loan. So now. <clears throat> The second guys. Mm, okay, I cannot find what I wanted to show you, but over here I have another example. Now, how I correlate, uh, or how how we can see actually carry the trade in the forex industry, in the in general in uh, the financial markets so literally you don't have to take a loan and invest to the, to um, uh, to um, uh, to let's say uh, another uh, to another country you can find uh, many people using this technique the carry trade uh, technique even in uh, even in uh, financial markets basically basically in uh, 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 we can see remember that when the interest rates of a country uh, are expected to go higher right to go higher and higher this tends to support the dollar correct so uh, that's why uh, if a, comp a, a, a bank signals the increase of interest rates, we can see a lot of cash flow into that asset, like what happened in dollar the last years. Um, while if we are seeing that there is the prospect, I'm going to bring as a a kicky example the dollar yen in this case because it's, it's an asset that uh, actually we can see a lot of carry trade uh, occasionally okay so if however there is the prospect like this year and right now actually that the dollar and the fed will de start detecting detecting um, uh, rates that has as an effect the uh, the um, the traders in this case to go out from the dollar as you can see here i will put the daily chart this is the dollar daily chart because the whole year especially in the second quarter of the year of the year we uh, had this concern that when the Fed will start cutting rates, will it be next month? Will it be the the the, the month after, etc.? All that anxiety and anticipation that they should start cutting rates and they will cut rates within the year is what led the pressure to move lower and lower and lower. And this is something that actually has helped significantly the yen against the dollar. So you see that they are correlated. By the way, I know that it, I turned the whole subject very, very uh, quickly to the actual uh, uh, online trading, um, our assets, our um, leveraged products. And, but so before I move on, uh, is anyone is there anyone okay with the term carry trade not only for the financial markets but also literally uh, have you understand how someone can benefit from this difference in the deposit because i have the example over here actually literally with the numbers and if uh, if you want me i will go through it and it's called, by the way, carry, because it's literally you are carrying money from one location to the other. Actually, uh, that was actually uh, that was something that is it was happening uh, before we had the internet and etc. That was literally physical. So people, especially rich people, were carrying money from one country to the other in order to benefit from the so-called carry trade taking a loan and then taking the ship <laughs> and they were moving into a different country to invest their money and eventually 
benefit from it. So are, are you all okay with this term? Okay, Walker, I, I, I get it, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it again then. I actually, with the next example, I think you will be just fine. I will skip this one for now. I will get back to this again. Okay, imagine that you're borrowing money from yen, from, um, sorry, it's not for, from yen, but from, uh, from the, um, uh, from Japan, okay? You're going to the bank, taking a loan. The interest rate there is, let's say, 1%, okay? You're taking that money, literally holding on your hands, okay? And you move to US and invest those money into a United States bank because they will give you a deposit interest rate back let's say 5%. So if you have invested a hundred dollars, I have simplified it, I will have detected significantly in the numbers just to give you an understanding, okay? Uh, if you, um, uh, if, if, if it gives you back a, a return up to 5% uh, from your, um, deposit you deposited a hundred and it gives you five percent at the end of an annual year let's say so you gonna the five the five percent of a hundred come on anyone are you following me guys five percent of a hundred is five dollars and nonetheless it will give you back a hundred and five dollars. So you deposited initially a hundred, and it gave you back more. Okay, it gave you a hundred and five. So because the in 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 Japan the deposit the, the the interest rate was zero, right? You're taking those money once you're um, um, once um, uh, the, the the contract finished with the U.S. bank. You're taking the money back and you repay your loan and you're left with five dollars simple as that for now at least <laughs> okay i have simplified it too much i think so i need i have uh, actually a very very nice and very very um uh, in-depth example actually um so actually let me get back So are you are you okay now, Walker? Or not quite sure. Okay, I'm gonna wait a bit for uh, Walker to reply. No quite sure. Okay, don't worry about it. Anyway, I think everything will get clearer in a bit with the next slides so um, um, don't worry we're gonna uh, continue and i will try to uh, explain again now <clears throat> just okay i would like at that point to mention Remember what I just show about the dollar yen example, right? We have, however, two types of uh, carry trade. We have the a, a positive carry trade and a negative carry trade. Basically, a positive carry trade is uh, when the uh, let's take for example the Aussie yen, right? Aussie yen. So if Aussie, Aussie represents the Australian economy, right? In which we have higher interest rate. Yen represents Japan in which we have lower interest rates. So this, this, um, this uh, asset is an example of a positive carry trade. 
uh, of a positive current trade, a positive current trade example, because we're buying the currency and borrowing the funding one. A negative current trade is pound dollar. If in the front, in the buying, uh, the, uh, the buying or otherwise called carry currency is the, in the front of the of the uh, cross, if that one has lower interest rates and the borrowing one or the funding one, if you prefer, has higher interest rates, then we have carry trade, a okay, negative carry trade. And uh, come on. Sorry. So, <clears throat> basically, remember that. Um, uh, why I mentioned the, the positive, the fact that we have two, two types, the negative carry trade and the positive carry trade. Basically, that depends, uh, as you are, might already understood, uh, on, uh, on the currency pair that you, you are trading. So, um, so <clears throat> It's considered to be a positive carry trade strategy when you have the buying at high interest rates and the borrowing currents at low interest rates, and the negative carry trade if it's vice versa. That's just just uh, just um, the two types of a uh, of a carry uh, carry trade strategy, which we're gonna see uh, later on as well. If have in mind until we uh, have in mind, however, that if, for example, the carry trade is positive, so we have a cross uh, that uh, is uh, it's under this category: uh, Aussie yen, um, dollar yen, pound yen. There are a lot, a lot of examples like that. So if you have this kind of a cross the currency pair, um, so literally if the carry trade is positive, then Usually, the traders that apply and use this kind, they use carry trade as their strategy. They are looking for pairs with a high inch, a higher interest based currency, and the secondary, and and then a secondary currency. On the other hand, if the carry trade is negative, the traders should look for pairs with a higher secondary currency and a lower base rate. Okay. An example, as I said, is when the um, usually the Japanese yen, um, Swiss franc as the secondary or quote currency. Uh, these are, are the positive current trade examples. <clears throat> and they are very, very, uh, actually very popular now. Now, 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 now. Let's move on. So. <clears throat> mm Okay, guys, now, remember that there is always some uh, dangerous line in such applications, okay? It's not as simple as, as I explained so far today, but uh, is a very useful uh, strategy to be used. 
remember that when I actually uh, uh, explain in the beginning the carry trait, I simplify things a lot, actually. Okay, I simplify things a lot. I have I, I mention only the deposit interest rates uh, and nothing more than that. Actually, I never never. Uh, mention or explain or uh, highlighted any other charges that we might uh, see, right? So, especially uh, you, uh, also I mentioned the example with dollar yen. Remember, I explained how, why currently uh, the dollar is in the down leg and why dollar yen benefited so much, much from these interest rate differentials. Uh, and, uh, and, and a lot of traders actually uh, this year have used carry trade, a positive carry trade uh, for um, uh, for dollar yen, or precisely a lot of carry trade has been seen in dollar yen and other uh, yen uh, crosses as well. However, I didn't uh, mention the exchange rate, right? Remember, I took for granted that. Um, the interest rate will main, remain stable. However, the exchange rates are, your, as you already know, they're not stable, right? Markets go up, go down, go sideways. So every day, even every minute, we have a different price. Okay? And in general, the inflow of capital deposits in our example is what makes the, the exchange rate move. I mean, cash flow moving from one asset to the other. This is what it, it moves the, the, mar the market. So, and why this is happening? This is because basically it's the, it's the basic, it's the, it's the basic, is the, it's the uh, it's fundamental for the market. And I think you already know it. Uh, why this happened? Simply because there is more, more demand for, for people in, in general to exchange assets that they are um, they they have greater benefit. So in this case, there is more demand to exchange currencies to a, to, to currencies that in, with an asset that will provide greater return. So, uh, current examples, it would be uh, yen to be exchanged with dollar due to their higher interest rates. It would be um, czar with dollar. It will be um, actually a lot. Pound, sorry, not pound, um, uh, let's say, a Swiss with pounds because of their uh, high interest rate. So there is more demand. However, remember that the change in interest rates can be suggestive. Okay, that's why when we initially, when 2024 started initially, do you remember what, uh, how many at points markets were expecting the Fed uh, to cut from interest. I mean, we were expecting, I think, in a uh, 150 uh, point rate cut from the Fed back in the beginning of 2024. 150 points. And because of that, the uh, dollar started losing its steam. Start losing its its um its its move higher. Then because of the we could see that the inflation was really really stubborn and was not take, was not like slowing down the growth as well the labor market and um, labor uh, market in US was quite solid that's why we had these ups and downs and ups and downs until eventually. There was a way clearer picture uh, in the beginning of summer uh, in which the members of the Fed confirmed that we have some progress, so we are 
ready basically to cut interest rates and that's why uh, the asset uh, turned down always market is ahead on the self they are we're trading on the speculation of an event so that's why i'm saying that the change in interest rate can be suggestive of the future movement of the exchange rate right markets are always ahead of themselves they are um, there is a lot of pricing ahead of some um, um, actions. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. I think now that I can see that Walker is back, I will go through in detail this example. And actually, it's not only for Walker, but anyone, everyone, because um, uh, I think it will it, it will help in general, not with the carry trade uh, theoretically as a as a strategy, but uh, in general to understand. Um, why we are seeing carry trade even uh, in in the financial market and even um, even intraday, not uh, it's not something in long term of something. As I said, it's affected by the current uh, affairs, affected by comments from the Fed. Uh, markets are trading uh, on the anticipation of something. So it's just just to give you uh, an understanding. A better understanding of um, of carry trading strategy. <clears throat> so, so, so here we will take as an example the euro dollar. Okay, perfect. So, let's assume in my example, please don't worry about it, uh, Caleb. You're gonna receive the the, the full uh, recording in your inbox. Just double check every time uh, that is not in the spam folder or something junk folder etc okay so so okay in this example as i, I mentioned i have used euro dollar uh, so borrow uh, euro carry to uh, to the us and let's assume that this investor has borrowed one million euros and carried to the US. So he, with the exchange, right? Because uh, the exchange was the euro dollar, uh, it was at 1.10, that's the exchange rate. So when you, he converted the euros into dollars, uh, because the rate was 1.10, uh, that uh, had a result to deposit in United States one million a hundred a hundred thousand okay US dollars deposited and uh, and uh, at the end of the year he with the interest rate that the US was giving him he hopes to get back one million a hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred dollars in a year from now right okay if in the case that the exchange rate indeed remains after a year at 110 then if he converts this money one million one hundred and sixteen uh, uh sorry one uh, one hundred sixteen thousand five hundred if he converts them into euros that will give him one million fifteen thousand euros right so so he will repay the the loan and he gonna enjoy fifteen thousand uh profit that's the ideal scenario let's say let's say but if it change rates rate at the end of the year it moves at 111 then he will be uh, his profit will be reduced and will be left with just five thousand after the loan is repaid. 
So, as you understand, the dollar profit turns into euro loss if the exchange rate moves to 112. So, what I'm trying to say uh, with with this example is is that guys you understand that um, uh, in order for a trade okay to be profitable the exchange rate should not move by more than the exchange rate differential okay what I mean the exchange rate differential it was uh, 1.5% the differential. So let me get back. I don't have it over here. When he initially borrowed the money, right? We have calculated that he will get back 1 million, 116,500 million. He will get this money back. Uh, based on the scenario that uh, in US the deposit interest rate was 1.5 percent, I'm going to write it down for you. In the US it was uh, 1.5 percent, sorry. And the Europe once the European one was at zero percent. So the dif the difference between the interest rates um, of these two countries was 1.5 percent. So we basically uh, you need to remember that for any trade to be profitable, the exchange rate should not move by more than the exchange rate differential. In this case, the interest rate differential is 1.5 percent, but uh, the difference between the initial exchange rate and where in it end if it reached by basically 112 it will be two percent so it's greater than the interest rate differential so a profit taking is only uh, sorry current rate is only profitable if the exchange um uh, rate differential is, is not uh, uh, sorry the exchange rate should not move by more than the exchange rate differential so what i'm trying to say if you go, if you consider applying current trade strategy in your uh, daily uh, trading plan or weekly trading plan etc you need to uh, be in line with the news you need to be up to date you need to be aware what is expected for, from each central bank, either in the near future or in the long-term future. And also monitor the movement of the currency pair in order to suggest that the difference, okay, in order that the difference in the in exchange rate to, to be higher than the actual exchange rate, the exchange rate okay? Otherwise, um, <clears throat> otherwise, um, uh, we're going to have the inverse uh, Fisher effect. I'm going to just briefly, briefly explain what this. Uh, this effect is all about, but it's something that um, that uh, shouldn't really uh, concerns you for now, at least. Basically, I, I'm I'm not sure whether you ever heard about uh, inverse Fisher effect. It's a bit more complicated and, and affects uh, affects the affects mainly the long term trends. Um, so I'm not quite sure whether I would like to. Uh, waste your time right now with the Fisher effect. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to skip it for now, but have in mind that uh, the inverse Fisher effect <clears throat> is an idea similar, let's say, with carry trade. So having higher interest rates that literally attracts investments, attract investors, attracts traders. 
given that the returns are expected to be higher than in countries with lower interest rates. So that increases the demand of the country's currencies and makes the interest rate appreciated. <coughs> Uh, actually, I have an article about it, so I will forward it to you. But it's something that, uh, in general, um, is something that the big investors are monitoring in general at the beginning of each year because it affects the long-term uh, trend. <clears throat> Something that the most most important point that you should know regarding the Fisher effect is that um, uh, um, um, is that it's basically um, how can I say it? Basically, um, the definition, literally the, the the definition of Fisher effect is that. Uh, by definition, the real interest rates, okay, excluding inflation, I mean, okay, by definition, not affected by the, the inflation rates. And uh, that was assumed to be more or less this, uh, the same uh, across countries. Um, actually, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to go through it now. This one because I think I'm gonna confuse every every everyone. I I can cover it after we are done with the strategies. Okay. And yeah, I think that's that's preferable. Okay. Here we have another example, which uh, actually was the definition the definition of carry trade strategy being applied by uh, traders and in which which led to significant significant uh, profits and a really really uh, successful carry trade strategy uh, for dollar uh, against uh, russian ruble back in uh, i think it was it was really 2016 yeah 2016 in which i have actually uh, i'm 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 sharing with you also the chart afterwards in which we have seen a, a, a significant dip of uh, dollar uh, uh, ruble from the beginning of the year uh, until actually November 2017 so the decline lasted for more than, for nearly two years and why is that very very brief, briefly just to to uh, for you to understand. Uh, so back in 2016, okay, as I mentioned here, uh, the Russian interest rates was at 11%. The US one was nearly zero, not 0.5 to be more precise. Okay, and actually the central bankers back then <coughs> held interest rates unchanged. Um, so remember, so it's like from the beginning of the year until December, they kept it unchanged. So what that implies, guys, that implies that there was a huge, um, a huge interest rate differential, 10.5% for the year. At the beginning of the year, as you can see in the very next slide here, at the beginning of the year, uh, the exchange rate stood somewhere at, uh, I think it was somewhere here, 72 was it, uh, somewhere here. Yeah, it was at the breakout actually. In January, uh, there, uh, it was around, I think I have it in my uh, points over here, uh, 4th of January, it was at 72.91. And in December, the very last trading day of December, it ended up at 60.68. So let's get back to see this huge aggressive uh, move. So 60. 
89 that was somewhere here so okay so at the end of uh, the, uh, the end of the year beginning of the year it started at 70 to 91 end of the year it ended up 60.68 now imagine that someone in uh, borrowed one million dollars exchange it to rubles and so we had 72.91 millions right invested it in russia so by the end of the year we will have gained 11 percent on his investment so he will have profit let's see the maths behind it 80.92 million russian rubles and if we exchange it back to dollars it will give him a profit around three hundred thirty thousand dollars so that's a return of investment up to 33 percent 33 percent return of investment so you can see that uh, there are there are some carry trade opportunities are out there in uh, financial markets, but they are quite rare. Okay, they are quite rare, but they are there. But it needs a very good and careful research to see uh, the agenda of the central banks, um, to see the differential between the two, and the between the, the, the uh, sorry the uh, market movements to monitor the market movement in order to make sure that it will be always lower than the interest rate. Uh, differentials. Uh, if at some point uh, the central banks uh, start um, uh, cutting rates or the other one start hiking rates, that it could eventually lead to the gap between the interest rates uh, rates to uh, to um, narrow. This is something that could trigger a, a closing position. Okay, so there are some carry trade opportunities over there. They are quite rare, okay, uh, and that's why the that's why they need a very very careful research because they are quite rare. But once it happens, uh, it gives a very very high uh, risk of return. So let's move on. Okay, this is how uh, because I, I focus on on an invest on the investment side, and I didn't mention how traders use use that to their advantage. Basically, shorting dollar rule, right? In this case, if let's say back then you saw this interest rate gap, you saw that there was a break below a key support level. As you can see over here, that was a significant breakout. You can see that Bollinger started um, uh, moving sharply lower, expanding lower as well. Asset, the asset was well below all moving averages. I have three moving averages over here. I have 20, 50, and 10, I think, was my near-term one. There was the breakout of this support level okay and consecutive consecutive lower lows so on this technical analysis considering the interest rates considering uh, the outlook uh, of the year of the year ahead from both central banks a trader could have shortened uh, the particular uh, pair if for example someone shorted it by one standard lot on that breakout that's just an example, okay? Then that could uh, have led to 14,000 worth of profit, okay? Obviously, we have swaps rates, right? We have the rollover, um, um, uh, which is equivalent to the to the exchange rate differential. So uh, if we just uh, very, very briefly 
uh, estimate a positive roll rollover rate of about $3.5 per day, then remember a rollover or swap, it could be positive, it could be negative, right? In this case, back then in 2016, it was a there was a positive rollover. And actually, if someone had taken that trade back then, not only he would have benefited 14,000 worth of profit, but also credited $1,277 from positive rollover. Rare, but if it happens, it's like, I don't know how to call it. <laughs> it's a bless. So that would have led to a return of, uh, of, of, of uh, return of 15, percent and look at that so um so here here i have again again the the russian currency against the us dollar okay uh, basically, that was uh, that was uh, another. That's another example for for the short term. However, okay, for for, for intraday traders, uh, because if the fundamentals are still supporting uh, the scenario of pressure on the dollar ruble, okay, so we could see um uh, that uh there are some um actually intraday uh, even intraday uh, traders could or day traders could uh, take advantage of carry trade gains you can clearly see that was another uh, bearish cross breakout consecutive bearish candle change of sentiment so I think it's quite clear. So let's move on. Okay, there is another example. That one was 2018 with the Turkish Central Bank. Do you remember that year? Oh, that we have seen 24%. Actually, okay, Turkish. Um, right now stands at where is it? This Turkey, Turkey, forty-seven percent right now. Back back then, it was quite enormous. I mean, it was the very first time that they uh, increased the rate so 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 uh, much. So uh 24 percent so we had seen uh basically that particular day on 30th of september i'm not sure where i have i have the um i have somewhere the the chart of dollar turkish lira but um yeah if someone traded back then uh, entered a position on 13th of september uh and um I close it nearly a month after let's say day trader or a medium term trader then uh, again we're gonna we'll have uh, actually profit rollover positive uh, rollover as well plus the profit uh, and that could end up with more than seven thousand uh, dollars if there was um, uh, one standard lot so another example of a positive a carry trade but also positive rollover remember that rollover could easily turn against you if you do not pay enough attention if you had bought let's say dollar turkish lira to exploit some upside movements that would end up uh, paying for the position instead of earning it so you need to pay attention to the interest rate differentials. I would like to 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 um, to have a to to look together a separate example. Um, 
that involves the positive and negative uh, carry trade strategy just to help anyone that still uh, is confused of uh, what is a carry, uh, carry a positive carry trade, trading strategy or what is a negative carry trading and how we can apply them to our trading plan okay so remember that a positive carry trade strategy involves borrowing a currency with low interest rates and buying a currency with high interest rates such as dollar yen OZ yen a pound yen uh, there are a lot of examples like that. Just in the first, in the first the quoted, let's say, uh, to be the yeah, and then the front to be the one with lower, um, uh, sorry, with the higher interest rates, and the second one to the secondary currency to be uh, the one with the with the lower low interest rates. So. So for the sake of, of this example, the one that I'm using over here, the OZN, let's assume that we have Australian um, Australian uh, RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia, 5%, giving 5% interest rates, and Bank of Japan, 0.5%. Just an assumption, okay? Perfect. So this means that the currency pair has a Positive or negative uh, carry trade? Was that is it a positive carry value to the trader or a negative carry value to the trader? Anyone? Come on, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. pretty pretty easy. So that's a that's a positive carry uh, value to the trader. Now suppose the trader's uh, position, the initial position, is worth six thousand Australian dollars. So that means that they will receive four point five percent of six thousand as interest on top of any currency appreciation in the pair right so that gives us around 270 uh, australian dollars directly into the trading account as interest for holding the position that's why in a positive current trade you will receive an initial net gain as you are you are paid interest for holding the position you understand in a positive carry trade you will receive a net gain because you're literally holding because just because you're holding the position however this could reverse if the interest rate of the base currency falls and if the interest rate of the coded currency rises so in this case uh, the interest rate in australia the interest rate in australia will need to fall below the interest rates in japan so if okay let's assume that if for some reason rba cut it sharply 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 interest rates uh, let's say at two percent, okay, which is something massive. As you understand, it never happens uh, to cut three three percent in, in a single uh, meeting, right? But just just to give you understanding, um, how the the the, the, the rollover could easily the, the, the could easily uh, turn against you, and how the the the, the positive carry rate could uh, reverse. Uh, let's assume that Bank of Japan increased and uh, either went to two percent or either greater than two percent in this case you um it means that the base currency will fall and the coded currency will rise so this will lead to uh, uh, a, 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 a negative and sorry um uh, it, the, to be charged 
and not to be credited. Will not receive gain because uh, as as an interest for holding the position, but we will need to pay um, for holding the position. Is what you asked before, uh, dear 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 uh, Rodero. Uh, Rodero left. Okay, I'm gonna also send you some nice nice explanations that we have online. Um, I think it will help you understand also uh, the significant, uh, the, actually the swap rates and what we mentioned earlier regarding um, rollover, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are uh, another strategies uh, when you have negative carry trading strategy this time. So if the borrowing currency uh, is the one with high interest rates and the buying currency is the one with the low interest rates, okay? What, what this strategy involves basically involves uh, when you have this, I mean, borrowing uh, a high interest rate currency and, uh, and buying a low interest currency. So based on this, uh, it means that uh, the currency with the lower interest rate will appreciate relatively to the currency with the high, uh, higher interest rate. And because of the nature of the Forex market, right? The, um, that's why we are seeing that uh, such currencies are, um, we see this kind of, we see that these, the major currencies such as dollar, euro, pound, or Swiss are often used as the base currency. Uh, so a negative carry trade strategy will usually have a tighter interest rate spread compared to the positive carry trade. So I have an example over here as well. Uh, Bank of England, 0.5, Fed, 1.3%. This means that because the pound dollar, you see, we have the weak the low interest rate first and the uh, high interest rate second. So we have negative carry trade. So this means uh, that uh, as a result, you will, uh, you take a position on, if you take, if you decide to take a position on pound dollar, uh, this means that you borrow the high interest rate dollar and buy the lower interest rate pound. So you will do this uh, only if and only if on the only if you believe that the interest rates of the pound will rise above that of the dollar this is the only case that you will have profit if that's not the case then you shouldn't consider a uh, opening position in that particular asset um, yeah Uh, guys, uh, in the chat, I have forwarded you a lot, a lot of um, examples um, that uh, we have in the analysis. Um, we have in the uh, in the analysis page regarding uh, carry trade, what it is, along with some examples on um, that. Uh, that uh, we have seen a uh, carry te trading technique being applied by uh, traders. So both fundamentals and technicals as well. And I think that is a short term one as well. I'm going to try to find it right now and send it to you as well. Uh, a short term um, uh, strategy. Uh, but yeah, I've sent a lot. So visit if you want to find out more visit our analysis page and you will find more about carry trade and uh, how it could be used in your uh, daily routine so this was pretty much it for today uh, is not something that you can spot very often it requires deep 
research it requires to keep yourself up to date with any interest rates announcement and especially the outlook uh, the outlooks uh, from the central banks it requires to monitor the price movement okay uh, because any change in their outlook in their comments in the in interest rates in general could affect the profitability of your position so it's not easy, but uh, it's very, very useful. So that was pretty much it. Let me double check whether I've seen uh, there is anything that um, I haven't really explained. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I think that's yeah. There is nothing actually. Okay, guys, we are good to go unless if uh, there is anyone that wants to ask anything because I can say that everyone stays until the very end, stayed until the very end. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. Let me know. I'll wait a bit. I'll keep it. I'll stop recording and I will wait for any uh, questions. <laughs>